An interesting piece of movie trivia for you cinephiles out there, if you watch the movie Platoon, you will know that Sergeant Elias and Staff Sergeant Barnes both were carrying this gun. Welcome back to the Saigon Report. Today we're going to talk about the XM177 Echo 2, also known as the Car 15. The XM177 Echo 2 was designed by Colt and it was called at the time a submachine gun. It was listed uh, on the uh, table of equipment as a submachine gun, but it used the exact same magazines and the same ammunition as an M16. It's 5.56. It uses 20 or 30 round magazines. It has a three position selector lever, safe, fire, and full auto. But what made the XM177 unique? Well, first, starting from the rear, it had a retractable stock. This was the first ever retractable stock put on a Colt rifle or an American battle rifle like that and so forth. I know there's some machine guns with retractable stocks, but for the AR-15, this was unique. Now, this was two positions. It was either closed, or open. That was it. When it was closed, the overall length is 29.7 inches. When it's open, overall length 33 inches. Now obviously this is a smaller gun than the M16A1 or even the XM16 Echo 2 and this only weighs empty 5 pounds 11 ounces because again we're using aircraft grade aluminum and a lot of polymer. Now they naturally had to redesign the forend for this and this is very common today but at the time it was pretty new an interesting piece of movie trivia for you cinephiles out there if you watch the movie platoon you will know that sergeant elias and staff sergeant barnes both were carrying this gun the xm177 echo 2 however the prop master for the movie screwed up if you look at the guns closely instead of having the dedicated xm 177 muzzle device the guns that barnes and elias were both carrying had the m16 a1 birdcage muzzle device so just an interesting piece of trivia for you guys you had your same sights as your xm16 uh, or your m16 you had an adjustment for elevation in the front adjustment for windage in the rear and up front this was actually new it was a 12.7 inch barrel and what they added was a new unique muzzle device. Now this muzzle device kind of looks like a baby suppressor or a mini silencer. And what it did was it directed the flash and the gas forward away from the shooter's face and it did a really good job at suppressing the muzzle blast. So the blast went toward the target, not right here by the user's face. And this is obviously very deliberate because on the M16, the barrel is 20 inches. And on this, it's only 12.7, so it's a lot closer to the shooter's face. You want the gas to be pushed away from the shooter's face. Now, you had your standard, you had a sling swivel up front, standard like M16, and you want, if you wanted to attach a sling, you could attach it to the top right here, or you could loop it through the bottom right there. This weapon, as I said, it was referred to as a submachine gun, but a lot of people today would say, well, it's a carbine or it's a rifle caliber carbine because, again, it used the same magazines and the same ammunition as the M16. You may notice, if you look closely, that there's no bayonet lug. The reason that there's no bayonet lug is because the muzzle device is too fat or too wide to allow the M7 bayonet to slip over there. So they're like, you know what, we really don't need it, just leave it off. A person who was issued one of these, instead of being issued a bayonet, would be issued something like a K-Bar fighting knife. So they would have a fighting knife instead of a bayonet. If you would like to own either a replica of the XM16 Echo 1 or a replica of the XM177 Echo 2, you can go to brownells.com and purchase them. This is the XM177 Echo 2 which is more commonly known as the Car 15.